Climate change is an environmental, social, and economic issue. And that whilst there are a lot of perspectives, and a lot of them coming from the West, our engagements have to be located in our own context. And we ought to locate these engagements in our lived realities of our country and the continent alike. As we all know, that climate change disproportionately affects developed nations in comparison to those that are developing. Its impact in the livelihoods of the poor and developing nations is not just about the climate changes, but goes to the very fiber of our existence and our ability to sustain ourselves. As many know that climate change has various effects within our climate, and we have to grapple with drought, extreme heat, which diminishes our agricultural base, threatening our land, and therefore our ability to produce food, which is required for all of us to be able to live. Further consideration ought to be made to our heavy reliance on fossil fuels. And we simply cannot ignore that aspect because we know that that industry continues to create lots of jobs. And that many within that sector are worried about what the future holds for them. And correctly so. In a country where unemployment is rife, those who have jobs want to hold on to them. And that is something that we need to be mindful of. And so as we engage and we discuss, Prof also reminds us that the terminology of a just transition was coined by labor. And I think that is a very powerful point that we must never forget. He says the terminology of a just transition was coined by labor. Because labor appreciates that as much as there must be this transition, and I think it's undeniable that we need to reduce the emissions that are in the air, we need to take greater care of our environment. That's undeniable. But the justness of it is how do we ensure that we move everybody along with us?